Chandigarh, the dream city that is now referred to as the city beautiful. But before Chandigarh was Chandigarh, it was just a dream from our former Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. He dreamt that we would build a city that did not have any imperial influence and signified the independence of India. Before Chandigarh, there were only villages in the surrounding area which were acquired and then many architects were hired to design a city, a city beautiful. Le Corbusier was one of the first architects who joined the program to design a city. He gave five principles which were new ideals even to the architects of that time. Although other architects did not see eye to eye with him, Nehru still approved his ideas and gave him funding. Le Corbusier designed Chandigarh as a whole while his cousin Pierre Jeanette worked on the buildings and on the same five principles established by the Corbusier. These five principles were pillars, free design of the ground plan, free design of the facade, horizontal window and roof gardens. These are considered as five points of modern architecture and are still widely used. The first house ever built in Chandigarh was that of Jeanette. The home of city's first chief architect is located in sector 5 house number 57, right opposite the famous Sukhna Lake. Today, this home serves as a museum and tells the story of Jeanette's creative genius. Many of the architectural elements of the house are now part of Chandigarh's architectural identity, such as the exposed brick and boulder stone masonry, unfinished concrete surfaces, lattice brickwork, in contrast with plastered surfaces and stone walls, narrow openings to trap light, balconies and uniquely designed porches are common features of different buildings in the city. Jeanette observed Indian life very closely before designing spaces suitable for people. For example, he knew that Indians love the outdoor spaces. Keep in mi keeping in mind the hot weather and other conditions of building in India, he created simple but effective designs. The office room. This room speaks about the different housing projects undertaken by Jeanette. This is where you realize that MLA hostels and some very iconic houses in the vicinity were created by Jeanette. Even though he created housing for different social categories, the signature style remained the same. The living room. Quirky design and huge windows make excellent use of natural light, a sign of energy efficient practices that we wish more homes would adopt today. In this room, one gets to know about different educational buildings designed by the Swiss-born Swiss architect. This room is also very cool even without the use of any air conditioning and just has one fan inside. It still has quite a temperature difference. Also, you get to see the furniture designed by him on display. Spiral staircase which leads up to the first floor, which has the coolest veranda ever. Jeanette created such shaded verandas at the time that there were no air conditioner and showed the re Jeanette fell in love with the city so much that when he died, in accordance to his will, Jeanette's ashes were scattered in Chandigarh's Sukhna Lake.